Hello everyone, Sarah back in Valheim again today. And today we are going to do another build tutorial for an early game house. Um, this one's a little bit different than the ones we've done previously. And as you can see, I've upgraded my character by giving her some armor. Um, so I'm assuming at this point that we have done a little bit of exploring and have gotten some uh, better supplies and possibly even some fine wood. So we're going to build this. Um, so what this is, is it's a basic little uh, circular structure. And as you can see, we've got loads of storage inside this little house. We've got a working workbench. I am, I'm assuming that we figured out how to get our hands on some fine wood uh, early in the game, either by doing the um, rolling the logs into the trees or finding a shipwreck or possibly even having a troll knock down a couple of trees for us. Um, we've got our working bed and we've got a little cooking station. So all of this is still pretty early game. Um, nothing super fancy here. The one thing about this particular build is we've got loads of storage on the exterior as well, all the way around. And if later you want to expand your storage, you could turn these into iron chests and really up your storage for this. The most tricky part of this is going to be this upper section here. And it's really not that bad. It did take me a little bit of figuring out how to get it uh, to vent properly and still be covered from storms. So let's go ahead and get started. I have uh, leveled a little area over here to build our little house in. And so we're gonna start with our two meter wood beam. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to put a ring with one rotation all the way around. This is going to be the base for the entire structure. So, gotta start here. That's two rotations. All right, there we go. All the way around. All right, so once we've got that all the way around, next thing we're gonna do is we're going to put down our wood floor. And we're going to do two uh, rows, so one here, and there's going to be another here, all the way around. So we'll go ahead and get that done. There's one row done. For some reason, I thought I missed a piece in there. Oh, that's not the right spot. And so we're left with the perfect area to build our fire. Um, I am going to raise this up just ever so slightly so that it's not below the... Not quite 
we go. So now that we've got the base of our build done, the next thing we're going to work on is we are going to uh, do our two meter wood poles and we are going to place them all around the outside. I like to skip every other one and then rotate the uh, beams to face the same direction. Oh. Like this. Oh. All the way around. Nope. Still not in the right spot. Alright. Once we've got our 2 meter wood poles, we're going to switch over to our 1 meter wood beams. And we're going to place two beams per pole. One is going to face directly 90 degrees from this one. One is going to face directly 90 degrees from this one. So we're going to have two snap points per beam. Now we need to figure out where our door is going to be. I think I'd like our door to be right here. So I'm going to put that in so I don't forget where I'm going to have that door in. Alright. Let's finish up. So now that we've got that done, we're going to take our two meter wood beam begin. We're going to change the snap point so that it snaps. Let me see if I can get where you can see this better. We're going to change it so it snaps in between those two beams like that. Um, we don't want it to shift over so that it's snapping to different beams. We want it in between. This is going to give us the platform for our interior uh, chests. Like so. Then we're going to take our one by one wood floor, and we're going to place this all the way around. Oops, that's not where I wanted that. All right, and now that we've got that done, we can actually go ahead and put in the same thing down here at the bottom. We are basically going to duplicate that ring, including the um, beams at the bottom.
and this all gives us our exterior storage. Yep, see. Alright, so then we're going to go back to our wood, one meter wood beams and we're going to um, go ahead and place these down as well. Now these are not strictly necessary, um, for me it makes it easier to snap the next piece in, um, but not strictly necessary that you do these. Uh, these are not going to be visible uh, at the end anyway, so if you wanted to leave these off you could. Um, I'll show you why I'm using them here in just a moment. Alright, so now that you've got those in, we're going to use our uh, one meter wood wall and we're going to snap to those. And we're going to put two up on each one of them. Oops, nope. Well, we'll face them towards each other, it doesn't matter. Um, so we're going to put these like this all the way around um, to use for uh, the next piece that we're going to put in, which is going to be our shelf. So we're going to use these like this to put a shelf in to separate for our storage on the outside. So this entire build uh, is pretty basic. There's nothing super uh, high level about it. It's, it's wood and a little bit of fine wood and a little bit of deer skin is what I've used. Um, I think I wound up using a total of a little over two chests, two wooden chests of wood. Uh, for the entire build. So it is a little bit more uh, resource heavy than the other builds that I've done. But, like I said, this one you can actually grow quite a ways with. Uh, because there's still space inside to add more crafting stations later on. Uh, more furniture, and you'll have plenty of storage to uh, do quite a bit of growing in. At least early game. I mean, you never have enough storage in Valheim, in my opinion. You always run out of storage. Alright, so... Um, this next part is also not strictly necessary. For me, it makes it a little bit easier to snap the doors to. So, uh, if you want to leave this part off, you can do that as well. But we're going to need those doors because the mobs, for some reason, do not like chests. And they will come up and attack the chests if they can see them. So that's why I'm hiding them behind doors. Um, because I'm not building a fence line or defenses at this point. Um, you could. You could dig a, a moat. Or you could put up some wood walls. And I am in creative mode, which is why I'm able to repair like that. Um, you, could, you could put defenses up and then not have to cover these up because they will be protected by the roof, but 
because I'm not building a wall right now or any kind of exterior defenses, then this is an option for doing that. So once you get these on, uh, you're going to snap the, the door uh, in these spaces here. So you're going to take your wood door, we're going to go all the way around, and you're going to push it back in until the top of the door disappears. That's going to be the placement that you're going to want for these. Now that we've got that done, um, real quick before I go on to the next part, I do like to um, kind of frame out this front area here a bit. So I'm going to take a 26 degree, oh wait, no, we have to go up half a, half a meter first, or one meter, sorry, and then put the 26 degree beams. Well, here we go. To kind of emphasize the doorway a little bit. Um, and then we are going to use our one meter wood poles and we're going to go all the way around and we're going to use these for our upper level exterior. Again, these are not strictly necessary. You could leave the raw edges of the wood walls, um, so it wouldn't be strictly necessary to do. I just like the way it looks a little bit better. So if you're looking to save a little bit of wood, um, a lot of this trim work is not strictly necessary. Now we're going to take our wood half wall and we're going to put that all the way around on the outside. That's not right. And this creates our upper wall. Okay, so now that that's done, we're going to snap a two meter beam all the way around. Again, not strictly necessary, 
Uh, I just find it makes it easier for me to hit those proper snap points. Now that we've got that all the way around, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add our 26 degree roof pieces. We're going to snap. I'm going to go into creative mode and fly, or use creative mode here and fly because that's getting old. <laughs> oh, apparently I hit a button here. Hold on a second. There we go. So, we're just going to go all the way around with our roof pieces. like so. Then we're going to take and trim this out with wood beams all the way around. Again, not strictly necessary. You could skip this part also if you wanted to. Just snap to the roof edges. Uh, I like the way it looks and I do like it help, helping make the snap points a little bit more uh, consistent to find for me. Then we're going to do another round of the 26 degree roofs. And we are going to do another round of the beams. That one feels right, this one does not feel right. The right one? Yes. Whew, thought I knocked out the wrong one there, guys. Alright, so this piece right here needs to attach to that one, I believe. Once we get going here, we'll know for certain. Nope, that's not the right spot. Stop being stubborn. No, no. Oh, 
Always when I'm on camera, I struggle with this. <laughs> Never when I'm not. <laughs> All right, we will switch to our snap pieces here and our snap points and see if that helps us get it lined up. That's attached to that one. Uh, let's see that one's this one right there. All right, now we're cooking with gas. Sorry about that, folks. All right. Just had to change the snap point. There we go. All right. So the next part of this is um, just getting about a one meter distance up. Um, you can accomplish that however you choose to. You could use wood walls, wood half walls, or you could use uh, the one by one wood walls, or however you wanted to get from this level of one meter. It's so bright, I'm having a hard time seeing right there in that spot. But it looks like I've got it all the way around. So, what I did on this one, and I'll zoom over here so you can see what I've done, is I've taken the one uh, one meter wood poles, and I have placed them on each of the beams that I just placed on that other roof, and created kind of this little star type shape. So that's what I'm going to show you what I did. Um, again, however you want to do this is entirely up to you. So we're going to change our snap point and we're going to point at each beam and go to the end of each beam. So the next beam is right. You can just see the end of the one sticking out, the little corner. Here, let me go. That right there, you can just see the corner of it. So we're just shooting for that one. Um, when we place this piece here. So it needs to be facing the direction of that beam, which is like that. So we're going to do that on each of these little points that you can see right here. Uh, we're going to shoot for the, the beam. And it's two rotations. So you have two pieces that are placed like that on each of these little uh, corners. So it's two rotations, place one, two rotations, place one, two rotations. So that's how I accomplished getting a little bit of um, a raised center section for this part. Um, there's a lot of different ways you could do this, but this is this is what I opted to do uh, for this build. So. And then we're going to use these to basically duplicate this pattern that we're snapping to um, up on top of this. So we're going to take our two meter wood beam and we're going to um, essentially duplicate it. So it's going to be there, uh, like so, and we're going to duplicate the pattern that we did with the beams here.
like that. Now, the next part we're going to do is I needed to get the roof line to leave a gap in the center part. So if I had snapped to these pieces that we just placed, um, they would not leave a gap. So I had to go out, and so I took the uh, one by one wood floor, and I went around leaving uh, spacing like that uh, to snap my roof pieces to. that and then did the 26 degree uh, roof, pe roof pieces attached to those. Alright, so the next thing I did to get the, the little, I don't know what you'd call that. You'll see that there's a spot where the one meter wood poles will just kind of snap in. And oddly enough, they work out to be um, a f exact two meters apart from each other. So you can take your two meter beam and you can snap them to them and, oh, not there they're exactly two meters apart from each other. All right, so once we get those in, we take our 45 degree beams and we're gonna snap them in at an angle, like so. And this allows it to still vent and provides protection for the fire below. And I'll show you over here real quick. So what I'll do is I will go in here and I will pull up a thunderstorm for you guys. There we go. And you can see it does provide protection for the fire using the peaks uh, or the beams the way that we are. I first saw that over on um, Rainheim, or sorry, Farmheim, done by uh, Eric at Game. And um, I thought it was brilliant. I don't know if she's the one who came up with it or if she saw it somewhere, but uh, I think it's absolutely brilliant that you don't have to create a full roof cover to protect the fires. So that's what we're going to do for our roof peak. All right, so let's finish up this build, shall we? Um, I did put for mine, again, not really super necessary. I just like the way it looks. I did put a wood step there. Like that. All right, so let's finish putting these chests in. So, for each one of these spaces, um, I put two down here, and then I'll put one up here, like this, for each one of these spaces all the way around. And I'm not going to take the time to do that, because you guys have already seen what it looks like. And then I will put a wood wall on the bottom. And so that will close in every space all the way around. And then you put your fire in the center. And you can put a couple of little cooking stations on top of that. And then figure out where you'd like your workbench at. Um, on the other one over there, I put it here. And I put a bed down using my little raised bed trick 
So, bed, bed, beam, remove the bottom. Like so. Um, and so the placement of the furniture in here is entirely up to you. Um, but I'm not going to go ahead and show you all of this. This, this is pretty self-explanatory. But that's it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you have a good one wherever you are in your day.